Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today's project is inspired by Valentine's Day and I wanted to share a project that was heart related. I've incorporated hearts in my work for a very long time, pretty much as long as I've been making work. I've been beading and embroidering hearts, whether anatomical or cartoon, some with faces, some with lots of eyes. <laughs> And then I've also been looking at a lot of imagery of Schiaparelli Couture, which is very surrealist, and they have bags that look like faces. So I wanted to make my own version of a bag with a face on it, only instead of a regular shaped bag, it's going to be a heart-shaped bag for Valentine's Day. I also used to have my own giant heart bag that I would wear everywhere when I was a teenager. Back then, Target would do special collections with new designers and Erin Featherston was a new designer who did a collaboration with Target and she had these giant heart bags and I, I thought that I had bought it myself but now if I remember correctly I participated in Fashion University which was this weekend thing that Teen Vogue hosted and you would go to different workshops where designers would speak. I went to Erin Featherston's talk and they had little goodie bags and the goodie bag itself was one of these heart bags and I thought they were very cool and I wore it everywhere. I wish I had a photo to show but back then I didn't take photos very frequently. Yes, yeah, so I suppose this project is also an ode to my teenage style. So to get started I'll show you a little doodle that I made that isn't too elaborate but you kind of will get the idea. Here's a couple doodles. They're rough but you get the idea. It's a heart-shaped bag with a face on it, some kind of handle. This is a grocery list that I made. I'll elaborate on the idea. What I'm thinking is the body of the bag will be this red velvet it actually looks kind of like crushed velvet. This is some kind of upholstery fabric. It's somewhat stiff, but still soft. Uh, I have quite a lot of it. My friend Erin gave it to me when she had been working at a fabricating company, sewing curtains and stuff for different companies. And they must have done some giant project in velvets. And they were going to throw out lots of rolls of uh, different colored velvets, but she saved them for me. And this is one of them among many. I'm very grateful to Erin because I love velvet and getting it for free. So yeah, that's the fabric I'm gonna use as the base. So I'm thinking that I'll beat it first, cut the hearts out. I'll probably line it in the same fabric. So if there's two hearts on either side, I'll cut four of them out and sew it finished and maybe have a strip of fabric connecting them so that it's a little more spacious than two pancakes of fabric touching each other. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll demonstrate it. And then maybe do something fun for a handle. I know I have some metal rings randomly, and then I also have some plastic handles that are just like vintage purse handles that I bought on Etsy at some point. Or I could possibly do beaded handles. I'm not sure. So let's begin. I'm going to start by cutting out a heart template. I did the classic fold a piece of paper in half method to make sure it's symmetrical and I kept adjusting until I got a shape that I liked. These are the handles that I have in mind and I think the heart's a little small for them so I'm going to cut a slightly larger version of it. I decided to cut out the hearts first, so I laid out the velvet and folded it twice so that there was four layers of fabric. The layers of fabric were a bit too thick to pin, so I used a pair of scissors to weigh it down and then cut around the paper heart. I was trying to cut it with an extra half inch seam allowance for when I sew the hearts together. Next, I drew out a face on one of the hearts using a metallic paint pen. It's a little difficult to see it on camera, but it was a good enough marking for me to see where I wanted to bead.
Okay everyone, this is the finished beaded face and now I'm going to sew the bag. I'm going to sew right sides together all the way around the heart but leave an opening so that I can turn it right side out. Now that the heart is sewn, I'm going to trim the seam allowances and turn it right side out. To close off the opening, I'm going to pin it shut and then stitch a quarter inch of a top stitch all the way around the heart. Next I measured out two strips of fabric the length I wanted. This was to give the heart more of a body. I sewed them in the same way I did the heart, leaving an opening so that I could turn it right side out and top stitch it. After that, I attached the two heart pieces using the strip as a connector. I pinned everything together and then sewed it using a very thick leather sewing needle. Now that that's done, the only thing I have left to do is sew the handles to the bag and I'm using some embroidery floss and trying my best to only stitch the handle to the inside fabric of the bag and not catch the part that's beaded. Alright everyone, here's how the heart bag came out. I hope you enjoyed the process. and. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to help support these videos with a tip, I have a Patreon now. And a special thank you to my two patrons. Um, I appreciate the support so much. I hope everyone out there has a great rest of the week, and I will be back with another video soon. Bye!